and I've been watching like like everybody. I mean, it's not me watching release. My wife is. Yeah. My wife is the one that is watching this. So I'm watching by proxy. The Amber Heard, Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp or Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard. That is becoming the people, <laughs> the people versus Amber Heard. And it's fascinating uh, to see how much I believe personally that uh, I think Johnny Depp already won. I don't think money is his problem. He's not trying to have her give her a good give him 15 million. I don't even think she has 50 million. Uh, or she or she. I don't even know if she, she can convince Elon Musk to give it to her. I mean, the, she seems capable of everything. But what is crazy to me is that in in this era, and I talked to the, talked about it the last episode, so I'm not gonna go again to it. But in this era of uh, Me Too movements and all these movements, whenever somebody accuses you of some specific hashtags, something phobic or something ist, like it's over. And imagine the resources that Johnny Depp has to defend himself, right? And now imagine other people who don't have those resources. They can be just crushed by public opinion, even if they are innocent. And this does, doesn't mean that it doesn't remove the fact that there's a lot of people who are guilty. But when you're innocent, this is a big lesson. This is a huge lesson for people and all these mob mentality of the internet. Because on the internet, yeah, listen, once everybody go one direction, the only thing you can do as a, as a public person or as a person in general is turn off your phone and just be off the grid for a week or two or three or a month and then you can come back. But the problem is now in, 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 this, in the, the society where we are today, where people swarm to you, you might lose your job because people, whenever something happens, they get so angry about things that happen to strangers. But people get so angry that they're gonna stop pressuring wherever you work, they're gonna stop pressuring, you know? And you might lose your job for something you didn't do. And you have to be able to prove it. You have to be able to have lawyers who will be able to prove it. And when you have people who have all their life, people, you know, some people have no problem lying. I know, I know a guy that I knew like back in the days in France, the guy was lying about everything. And he would lie about things in front of you when you know exactly he was lying. Some people, some people is crazy the way, yeah, they don't care. Like for them, what, what matters is the result. How we got there doesn't matter. To me personally, what matters is how I got there. I could do so many things so faster, but if I have to disrespect people, I can't. But you have some people, they don't care. 
You just come and they will lie. And then when you get caught on the lie, you add more lies. So you have this woman who, but listen, I'm not for one team. I'm not for the other team. I keep saying it, but look at her defending herself with saying crazier and crazier and crazier things because she knows that she hijacked a movement the first time. So she's trying to hijack it again. And those movements, they're super silent because they're like, after Jesse Smollett, nah, nah, nah. We, like another one? Yo. Yeah. With great power come responsibility. So it's it's incredible to look at and look at like you can see when Johnny Depp's team is well prepared. All the all the his uh, testimonies they they've been saying the same thing from the beginning. On the other side, they keep bringing stuff, adding stuff, and they have some strange ass uh, testimonies. There's some strange ass people come to the stand to try to defend her, and the stories they don't add, they don't add up. So listen, of course, a lot of us come came from here. We already kind of heard some tapes we already kind of had our idea but it's interesting i believe that yeah johnny came here just to clean his name and i think the mission is accomplished already whether or not he she will be found guilty i don't know uh i believe that the court of public opinion which interestingly in this type of matter it's kind of what matters the most, I believe, for for him and for, especially when you're an actor and you have to be in movies and be hired. Like, this sentiment, he just returned it in six years because that's, that's about cleaning your name. When somebody accuses you of something that you didn't do. And that's how he feels probably. And that's what he says. We'll see how it goes. It, it's, it was three interesting weeks. It's interesting to see. It's interesting to see how you, the internet is all over it. Like TikTok and YouTube. Yo. Like you say something. As soon as there's a crazy moment. People like. They're watching live, they're recording live, they just, as it's playing, they cut and poof, they upload. And it's on YouTube. And it goes with what I want to talk about today. Hi, I'm the internet. It's like, yo, the, it's incredible how the people, you know, uh, Listen, life itself is so different from 20 years ago. 20 years ago, this whole thing would have been, we would hear about it or whatever. But America is like, yeah, listen, everything is entertainment. Everything is newsworthy. Everything is, yeah, there's a life for everything. And uh, listen, I, <laughs> I've discovered some channels on YouTube, I don't even know why YouTube, like YouTube sometimes says, tries, it's like, the algorithm is like, yeah, watch this, let's see if you like it. So I discovered a guy who goes and goes in with people who have gardens, properties, and he cleans your, your, your garden for free. It's like, like, it's, it's not, it doesn't clean your garden. It's like when you have like big grass everywhere and it's somebody who didn't take care of their garden for a year two years whatever he just comes and for free he's gonna just he has like a lot of tools 
and he's gonna clean up your garden and like do and make it look like pristine etc and uh, he doesn't ask no money but he makes so many money from the YouTube views that he can, yeah he can do it for free and interestingly I was watching you I was watching one video and I end up watching 10 because it's so satisfying to watch and it's just a guy like cutting grass cutting grass cutting the bad trees and turning a your swamp into a, a beautiful garden how it was before and then having the reaction of the the owners if they live there or the neighbors and yeah listen there's there's content for everyone today People, listen, the people who were born in the, the, the 70s, the 80s, they remember a time where we had books, you know, and things were so different. You see what I mean? And today, yo, there's so much content, like there's so much to so much to watch for everything like type ember heard on on youtube and you're gonna have so many videos so many videos about this whole situation between them from people who are studying her her movement her face behavior studies uh other lawyers reacting lawyers commenting live on the work of other lawyers because like it's fascinating to see how the world has changed to a place where everything is happens almost in real time where back in the days you could have war on a thousand kilometers away and maybe you didn't know unless you unless you were really interested in the matter the matters and you watch the news but we were kind of shielded from all these things and today listen two people that we don't really know are on a legal battle and everybody's all about it and everybody can hear everything real time and crazy how uh when you go online you go on internet on the internet and uh you type you see that you can you kind of so is it me and the algorithms or is it different from other people i'm not sure when you go on youtube you have this sentiment that everybody already chose one side it's hard to find people i mean i'm saying this i didn't really try but uh how could i do it let me go on youtube so if i go to my youtube and i type uh amber heard Look, all the results are about this. And most people, most of the things that I received are either neutral, but most people, they're like, we all know she's a liar. Most people, you know, most people, most videos that I see are really like telling one yeah i mean I think everybody is believing one side more than the other and it's very telling it's it's it shows you yeah an interesting part of the public opinion the public sentiment and uh yeah we'll see listen we'll see 